Hey guys, welcome back to the BMW Blog YouTube channel and welcome to a new series of BMW tips and tricks. Today I'm in the 2025 BMW M5 G90 and I'm going to show you how you can remote software update your car. I have iDrive 8.5 but of course the very same steps also work in iDrive 8 and 9. So let's go take a look. So there are a couple of ways on how you can actually update the software in the car. Once in a while you will get a notification on the screen when you enter the car. And some other times you will see the notifications on top right there. You can see the number one, but right now the software update does not pop up. In case it does, you will see right there and you can actually select that update from within that screen. Now let's see another way. You can actually go to all apps and then as you can see, you can scroll to system settings and then remote software update. Before we do this, let me show you something in case that option is not available. Sometimes you'll get a notification saying that you need to activate the setting in a data privacy. So just scroll down within the same system and settings menu. You're gonna go to data privacy, and then here you can select the services that you want. Of course, you can select all services, but if you care about privacy and all of that, you can actually select them individually. So let's see what they have in here. Individual selection, as you can see, there are a bunch of options here that you can select or deselect. If you scroll down at some point, we will get to the system update as well. So you can see right there, remote software update. And basically right now it's selected. We're gonna go back to remote software update. And you can see I'm on an older version from July, 2024. And right now we're gonna do search for upgrades. As you can see, it's gonna do the update in the background. There is one more thing, because this wasn't my car, it was actually a BMW loaner car. I was able to add my ID firstly as a secondary ID, but because of that, there was no option for me to actually do this. So what I had to do was actually go all the way down here to reset vehicle data. I did a factory reset on the entire car, and then I was allowed to actually add my own ID as the main ID of the car. So now let's go drive the car and see if we can get that update to pop up. As you can see, it found a new update, actually a quite large one. And now it's downloading. You can also get some additional details on what's inside that package. So you can push on it. And you can see it right there. As you recall, I mentioned earlier that you're gonna get a pop-up in the notification screen right here when there is an update. So you can see right there, it's gonna tell you there is a new software version available. Click on it and you can see all these details right there. It's still a 7% and downloading. Also, there is a notification that if you wanna download a little bit faster, you should be using your phone's connection. So right there it says, download speed will be increased by using the My BMW app on your phone. So keep that in mind because as you can see, it takes quite some time. It's a large update. And of course, if you're using the eSIM in the car, that might take a while. Once the upgrade is downloaded, you'll get a notification on the screen and also through your My BMW app. As you can see in this case, I've been driving quite a bit today while downloading the update and it's telling me that I need to wait for the engine to cool down. And then basically I can do this start upgrade once cool down, it will do it automatically. Or you can just wait until it gives you this option to manually push this. Okay, so now the upgrade is finally available to install. So as you can see, when you enter the car, you get that notification right there. Or once again, you can go to the notifications. You can see through that menu as well. Click on install now. And now let's start doing the upgrade. You can see you don't have to be in the car. You can exit the car, lock the car, and it will still do the upgrade for you. It's a pretty big upgrade, so it's gonna take about 20 minutes, but of course, the installation time always varies. Of course, you don't need to wait in the car. You can monitor the upgrade through your My BMW app. So essentially, you can walk away, have a coffee, and then see when the update is done. All right, so the upgrade, it's done. Now the car will go through a reboot process. I also just got a notification on the My BMW app telling me that the upgrade has been completed. There you go. Upgrade completed. Now you can go to system settings, 
take a look at the upgrade and you can see right there the information on this upgrade you can search for a new upgrade as you drive the car so this was a quick guide on how to update your bmw idrive 8.5 via the over the year update feature in your car hope this was useful stay tuned for a lot more bmw tips and tricks and don't forget to subscribe to our channel see you in the next one